you ever wonder why no one falls in love with you? Or why everybody does except from the one that you want? Do you ever wonder why you can't understand paintings in galleries? Or why you can't play computer games? Or why you don't know how to hug people? Or why you talk funny? Why you don't feel what other people feel? Why you find yourself doing horribly destructive things? Why is that? Why is that? Is it because, like me, you have something horribly wrong with you? My name's Tom. Uh, my character is Miles. Miles is a 17-year-old who is a little bit socially challenged, but he's extremely intelligent and he's introduced to neuroscience and all these technologies involving the brain, which really sort of captures his interest. Um, he, he sort of comes to a disagreement with Emerson, not so much a disagreement, but he doesn't like Emerson because of his relationship with Haley, which is the girl he sort of falls in love with. And he then sort of has different ways of to experience love with her. Um, understanding Miles is quite difficult because he's a complex character. And obviously this is a new piece, so there's no sort of set way he is. So we've had lengthy discussions with the cast and the director about who he is, what his beliefs are. Um, there was sort of one thing whether he was real or not or whether he was some kind of omniscient, omnipotent being that just floated around and caused trouble. Um, but he's very much real and not as ambiguous as he seems. Yeah. I've enjoyed the complexity of playing Miles. I think you know, as an actor, you can have roles that you can really get your teeth into, and this is one of them. And there's, like I said, there's so much scope for this character that it's great to be able to play it the way you want and the way you've discussed, but also have so much fun with it. And that's just great about, about the play. Um, at first, the sort of ambiguity of it was, was challenging wasn't a bad challenge, it was a good challenge, but it was challenging to get our head around what we wanted this character to be and how he was in certain scenes or how he was reacting. But um, once the character became more established, it was quite easy to work out how he would be feeling and what his motivations were, etc. So it's a challenging role, but it's not, it's nothing out of the ordinary. My favourite scene is, um, I think they all take place in Miles' lab, it's my favourite scenes. Uh, there's a bit where he's got the oxytocin spray, which is quite comedic, but at the same time heartbreaking, when he says he's never been loved, he's never experienced love. There's also the scene with Emerson, um, a few scenes earlier, where he's being quite, he's, he's enticing him, really, and trying to get him to bite and push him over the edge which he does. <laughs> yeah, I think in any character that you play, you've got to have bits of yourself in it because you are playing this character and even though it might be completely different and they might do different things to you, that it's still you playing that character and it's going to be your sort of motivations in a way because you, you make that character. They are your own. So for you to make that, it's got to come from within inside you. Well, I had an a I've got A-levels in biology and chemistry, so I've got a pretty okay knowledge at, um, of science, but those actual lessons kind of bored me a little bit because they weren't interesting enough, but I think neuroscience especially is incredibly interesting because it's sort of, the, it's at such a basic stage that no one really sort of, there's a lot of discussion about it and debate and there's so much technology coming out every day or every year that it's, it's not something that we already well, we know a lot about it, but there's so much more that we don't know. And for me, that's probably the most interesting thing. I've learned a lot from this because as an actor, I've learned a sort of different technique. Um, we've had movement coaching from Robin, uh, who's great. And some of the stuff I've not even thought about before. Um, I've enjoyed doing this because it's opened my eyes to what is out there and when we first started rehearsing we were asked questions and they said how would you feel if this happened? I think it was um, what would 
what would your answer be to should we be able to do whatever we want to our brain? And I said yes, and then we discussed it, and then I realised that it shouldn't be yes because people could do ridiculous things and they could, like Westwood could come in and soup up your brain kind of thing, so that's not exactly right and it, it could create sort of a divide. Um, so yeah, it's opened my eyes to what the potential pros and cons are of neuroscience, definitely. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, you know, it's, it's gonna be hard, I think, with the early mornings and stuff, but that's, that's what, what it is. So I'm just looking forward to going around to the different venues and, you know, when, when you go to a different venue, you've got to change your voice and stuff. And, you know, if you're in a big hall, you've got to project more. So doing that's really good just to hone your skills in. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And it's a great cast as well. So working with those guys, it's not all about you. So yeah. Have you got your in-car entertainment sorted a lot of games by spying in the play? Or? Um, well, I'm hoping we've got a radio. If not, I'm going to have to sing, which is, it's not pleasant for anyone really. 